Hey guys, welcome back for another war video. We are in season 21. This is war number 8. We are facing SAS. And I'm going to take a look here at my team. I'm going to bring Red Hulk as well as Nick Fury. And who else? Let's see here. Hmm. Oh, Magneto. There we go. All right, sounds good. Let's head in here. I'll be on path 1 in section 1 and path 9 in section 2. So we'll start all the way to the left and then go all the way to the right. Just to cover all the map, you know. Keep things excited. So let's head over to the left here and uh, get started on path numero uno. And uh, my first fight here is going to be a man thing. All right, and this node here has Arc Overload and Vigorous Assault, so he's going to be gaining health on a regular basis. And when he is gaining health, he is going to be unblockable, uh, as well as when he's below 50% health, uh, he's also going to be unblockable after a special. So um, all that good stuff. So uh, just going to hit him until he gets his uh, regen out of the way, so he's no longer unblockable. Uh, now I'm going to build up some heat charges up to five. Uh, once I get my heat charges all the way up, this guy's going to melt pretty quickly. I'm going to try to keep him below, um, above 50% health uh, when he throws a special here until I'm really going after him. Uh, that way he doesn't uh, proc that regen. Um, there it is. He is unblockable at the moment. Um, so I'm going to just dance around for a minute. Um, and there we go. Now that it's off, go back to work. Up to seven heat charges, eight heat charges. Uh, throws his special. He's now unblockable, but I don't care. He's in the corner. I'm just kind of waiting it out. He's now indestructible. He's now unblockable, but that's over. There we go. Finish him up, and uh, just for good measure, just got to pound him down with a special three um, and uh, show him who is Red Hulk. <laughs> All right. Nice job there, Red Hulk. Great fight. Let's move up to the second fight, which is against Juggernaut, and uh, going to be another Red Hulk fight here. Uh, it's Masochism and indomitable so i'm um, just going to try to avoid parrying him as much as possible because i don't want to um you know give him you know more health and all that stuff so um here we go just going to block out uh hits no parries uh to kind of treat it like you know a stun immune or whatever the case may be uh, which is fine because every blocked hit i'm you know gonna be gaining a lot of heat charges uh so by the end of it you know i'll have 10 and uh, be in pretty good shape uh, he's a stubborn defender, so uh, when I'm dodging those specials, um, he is going to go indestructible, which is fine. Um, and then just going to uh, intercept and uh, take a couple blocked hits, get heat charges up, and this guy's done. Um, he did not stand a chance against uh, Red Hulk. Red Hulk just smashed uh, Section 1 today. Um, so that's great. Get out of Section 1 without any deaths, unlike Last War. And uh, we're going to move on to Section 2. And I'm going to have this uh, Mr. Fantastic on Encroaching Stun. Um, I think this is one of the first times I've done Encroaching Stun without Quake. Um, so I'm going to try it here with Nick Fury. Uh, the theory behind using Nick Fury here is that, uh, you know, he can't be stunned when he's in his second life. So uh, once the life model decoy is down, um, he's actually getting to be pretty strong here. Um, obviously, I don't want to use the life model decoy, but uh, it's definitely there in my back pocket if... I uh, happen to use it. So off to a pretty good start here with Nick Fury. Uh, keeping bleeds on this guy. Uh, I do have uh, deep wounds right now for this fight. Uh, suicide's off. But as you can see here, I hit Encroaching Stun in the middle of his special. Uh, very long special, which is probably one of the reasons why he's on this node. Uh, taking a ton of hits here. Uh, down to half life on my first life. And uh, I gotta throw this special three... Um, because it's not going to help me for encroaching stun if I have a special three. So I'm going to throw the special three so I can try to build up to another special before the timer runs out. Um, so that does not happen to me again. So I'm going to hit this guy. Um, deal a little bit of damage, nothing special. He is uh, going to stun me again here um, in the middle of a special two. He's slapping me around, still stunned. All right, there goes the life model decoy. At least I can't be stunned anymore. And um, as well as the fact that uh, 
I'm gonna be dealing some major damage with my Fury. So I'm gonna get in here, throw the special, bleed him out. He's stunned. And um, yeah, that should be a pretty simple finish from here. And uh, got him down. All right. So not ideal. I did take two stuns there, but uh, I guess that's why Nick Fury is a good option here. So we're gonna move on over to path number nine and uh, face down with this magic. And on this note against magic, it's going to be window of opportunity stun as well as one eyed open. So um, definitely stunning is not what I'm looking to do here. My goal here is to build up some heat charges. And once my heat charges are up, then start attacking her uh, so that I can do as little uh, amount of hits as possible so I don't build her power and all that stuff. So I'm just building up heat charges here, um, doing a couple hits. I'm um, up to 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, we're good. We have full heat charges. So now I can really um, uh, pound away at this girl um, and do some massive damage um, and get her down. All right. Nice job, Red Hawk. That's what you're here for. Uh, get those Mystics down. All right. So we're going to move up here uh, to the next fight, which is Guillotine 2099. Uh, this is Window of Opportunity Stun uh, as well. And uh, this time... I'm going to bring in Magneto for the Metal Champion, and hopefully I can remove the Window of Opportunity stun uh, like I have in the past and uh, go from there. So let's get going. So if you'll notice in the upper right-hand corner, the uh, red ticking debuff all the way to the right, that is the uh, opportunity where I cannot stun her. I cannot do a parry or else I will be stunned. Uh, once that's up, as you'll see, it's going to turn to gray, and now that gray timer is going to be the time in which I can stun her. And now I'm going to keep an eye on that gray timer because when that gray timer ends, it's going to turn to a red timer or it's going to disappear because sometimes Magneto makes it disappear. It's going to turn back to red, so I cannot stun her. Um, I did not fail um, her window of opportunity, so I cannot stun at the moment, but it will turn back to gray in just a few seconds here. Get out of the corner and I can stun again. I'm going to block the special two in the corner. Uh, not ideal, but we'll get it done. I now am up to a special three. Going to build up some prowess. I have officially removed the window of opportunity stun, um, but it doesn't really matter because that is the end of the fight because I am just going to crunch this girl into a little ball and throw her down. So, all right, nice job, Magneto. All right, and then I'm going to move up because that is the end of my war, guys. No mini bosses for me today, so uh, pretty uh, pretty easy uh, war for me, and uh, that's basically going to be it. The uh, rest of the battle group did an amazing job clearing the map, and I just got to uh, sit back, relax, and watch it happen. Very nice, very nice. War is complete. And as we take a look at the results here, we are victorious, so nice job, guys. All right, and victory. Uh, pretty good war overall for us, um, so very happy with that, guys. You guys all have a great day.